Come on, Minecraft. I'm pretty upset at you, man. You couldn't just give me one Eye of Ender in there, or maybe two of them. What is it gonna hurt? Why, why 12? You know what I mean? It just takes too long. Why you gotta do that to your, your customers? Alright, but I did it though. It took me days, but I finally did it. Let's get to it. Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Redcart200. So I'm bringing you another uh, trophy guide for Minecraft. Uh, this time on uh, more of the difficult trophies, uh, we are going to the Ender Portal. We're actually going to the Ender City uh, for a lot of trophies, actually. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the list of trophies that we're going to go ahead and receive today. Okay, that way you take a look at that. So you need a mint, uh, the end with a question mark, the end with a period, which is killing the Ender Dragon, great view from up here, and organizational wizard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tackle all these trophies to show you how to uh, complete them. This is part one of the video, so in part one what I'm doing is I'm, sh I'm basically preparing you for the Ender Portal to kill the Ender Dragon. I'm showing you where to get the Ender Pearls at, uh, where would be a good spot for that, how to create the Ender Eyes, showing you where the Ender Portal is located at in this tutorial world. Okay, so uh, this is part one of the video. If you already know all these things, then you can go ahead and skip over to part two where I'm showing you uh, basically where to get all those trophies. Uh, bear with me the video is quite lengthy because I want to have a detailed um, instruction on how to do this so the first thing is we have to go the long route with getting our ender pearls and the reason for that is the trading is basically all messed up I think the last update went ahead and messed all that up and you used to get the ender pearls by going uh, to the trading villagers or to trade with the villagers and they used to give you ender pearls like that so it made things a lot easier okay but now that the level doesn't level up there's no way to get new items when you are trading with the the villagers here so i want to just kind of show you that an example of that see notice there's no green at the top of the level and because of that we have to go the long route with getting the the ender pearls so uh, I know some of y'all might say that and say, hey, why don't you just do it like this? Well, unfortunately, the new update went ahead and messed all that up with all the training system. All right, so first thing we're going to need is we are going to need an iron pickaxe, okay? Because we are going to prepare for the the Ender Dragon. So I did grab uh, wood blocks in the very beginning for the, from the trees. I need sticks to do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab this iron from here make my crafting table go ahead and place that down and now I'm gonna go ahead oh let's see here I need the there we go I need the iron okay but notice I do need the sticks before I do that so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the sticks I created two sets of sticks one iron pickaxe there and that is it okay I'm gonna use the the wood axe in order to, or I'm sorry, the iron uh, axe in order to break that. Alright, we're going to head over here to this location. What we're doing now is gathering our diamond for our armor, our sword. Uh, we are going to have to fight the, the ender dragon, so do we need to be prepared? Plus, we are going to go to a location. It is quite lengthy in order to get the ender pearls going the old-fashioned way. But I'm going to show you a good spot. And we actually need armor to protect ourselves, and we actually need a lot of food too. So, first thing is grab my iron, my my diamond here. Let's see. I think with five is sufficient. If you want to grab a little bit more, just to make sure you have it, you're good there. All right, let's go back down. And now what we are going to do is we are going to create bread from the weed in the back with the llamas and the horses. Alright, so this, you actually need a lot of this. There's some carrots where we're at too, but I prefer just to go with the bread. Uh, it does give us, I think, I think three. I'm not sure, even though I've been eating bread for days because of this video. <laughs> I don't know exactly. I just eat and eat and eat. And we're going to need a lot. I know some of you will be like, man, you don't need that much. Well, yeah, we are, especially if you don't want to go back and backtrack. So the only thing I forgot that I encourage you to get is a, a anvil is that what I encourage you to do for one of the trophies I had to backtrack it's not it doesn't take that bad but I encourage you to get an anvil uh, for one of the trophies that's for the organizational wizard trophy and you can basically do it over there in the inner city 
and there's actually one right there coming up on the right hand side that you code and create an anvil and I basically just missed it right there before you take off alright so now what I'm gonna do is create all my I basically need to make them into diamonds since they're blocks right now notice how many I have and now I'm gonna make my my wheat into smaller little little doses there okay I need my armor everything chest plate legs boots um, headwear uh, now I create my bread you need a lot of bread okay so just boop 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 x x x x x x x x x x x x all right guys hopefully you're enjoying my videos uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so shame on you that I'm helping you with all these trophies and you have not subscribed to me help me out though give me a like it does help out my channel uh, basically let's uh, people be aware of my videos when you do give me a like so I'd really really appreciate it or right, create my diamond sword here also created my shield okay, that's why I need the iron for all right and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a diamond pickaxe even though I mean I'm not really gonna need it but you know since I have diamond why, why not right why not I don't need I don't need a diamond uh, X either but it's fine and I created a bucket okay I encourage you to create a bucket as well from the iron if you want uh, more you might need some more so just go ahead and create it but um, let's go ahead and put everything on no reason for creating and not wearing it and then you put triangle on all those items and then you carry your shield kind of get organized here okay put my pickaxe crafting table I need that and I'm gonna get my my bread here something basically remove something I don't need all right so we actually need 12 ender pearls and the way you get your ender pearls pearls is uh, by defeating ender endermen the only problem is they don't spawn them sometimes so I'm gonna give you some tips on, on what to do there okay uh, we need to head over here we need to get the blaze powder notice we only have 10 blaze powders we actually need 12 ender pearls and we need the blaze powder to create ender eyes or eye of enders so we actually need two more blaze uh, plow, uh, blaze powder in order to create my eye of enders obviously we need 12 we need 12 uh, ender pearls so we need 12 eye of enders in order to end in, in order to open the the ender portal so this is where it gets kind of grindy here guys okay this is the grindy part of our video here because uh, you need to find Endermen. Endermen are pretty rare. They don't spawn very often. Okay, so sometimes when they spawn and you kill them, they don't drop an Ender Pearl, which is frustrating sometimes. But I got a couple of tips that I'll go ahead and um, show you where they are when we get to that point. So right now, what we need to do is gather two more uh, Blaze Powders. Obviously, we have 10 right now, so we need two more to make us 12 for our ender eyes. And I'm going to show you exactly where that is at outside where we go. So as soon as you leave the tutorial location, you're going to head to the right. You're going to drop down in the water with your boat. Obviously, you want a boat. Sorry, sorry about my baby in the background. Okay, you kind of hear her. She's in, you know, she's my biggest fan, and she's part of almost all the videos. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to the witch, where the witches are. The s Let's see, and then we'll, you know, easy way to go get up there is through the water here. Having some trouble with your boat, kind of just go against there. So these are where the witches are. The witches swamp here. If you need a witch, it'd be a good location. I made another video with, um, you know showing you let's see I forgot what the name of the trophy was throw a poison to a witch or something like that all right we need the the blaze powder there okay i'm just gonna go and take all of it if you need anything else you go to take that from there all right so the next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need arrows for the ender dragon there's some ender crystals at the very top of some pillars that we need to destroy and the best way to do it would be through a bow and arrows so we're gonna grab some arrows here arrows are could be quite difficult to make 
So I prefer just to buy them from, from traders. There's some traders over here. Uh, you could buy, I think there's 10, 10 for I don't know how many emeralds. Uh, we could basically trade for them. Makes things easier for us. We'll also get some arrows from the, we're going to be killing a lot of uh, creatures right now. Skeletons, we could also get some from there, but I prefer just to trade for them. These guys here. So I don't know what, what happened with the whole trading system that went ahead and messed up everything. You could also grab some bread from there too. Uh, I'm not looking for that though. I have plenty of bread. Uh, let's see, is it this guy, this guy right here. He gives the arrows. So now it's time for the grindy part, boys and girls. What we need to do is find 12 endermen and hopefully they drop 12 ender pearls in order to open up the ender portal. Okay, so this is the best location I found in order to do it. Make sure we save before we start. The purpose of saving is because it's dark right now and because it's dark, endermen seem to spawn more in the dark or when it's night. So if just in case it gets to daytime and we didn't find any endermen, we reload our save so that way we don't have to wait for it to get dark again. Okay, that's tip number one. Um, tip number two would be to travel from this location over, uh, kill some enemies, and then go ahead and travel back to the normal spot. Okay, tip number three, and this is the best tip, if you find an enderman, save before you kill him. Because if you if reload if he if you kill him and he doesn't spawn um, an ender pearl, we could basically reload our save and then we could try it again because sometimes that does work. Even though it might take several tries, that'd be the best the best way to do it. So hopefully we just need 12 endermen so that we get this done. This will take days. Don't maybe if you're if you have a good night, you'll find maybe three or four endermen. Um, it, at, at, you know during your process of the night, daytime they don't really spawn. And what I'm doing is I'm just traveling back and forth to this location, hoping to find endermen. And I think I find one pretty quickly here in a little bit, but like I said, they don't always they don't always drop the ender pearls, which is the frustrating part of this. So this is you know this is part of the grind, guys. Okay, if you want to become a trophy hunter, these are the things that you're gonna have to deal with sometimes. That you know they they take they take a while in order to get. See, I told you we're gonna get attacked. It's always good to have armor and bread and all this right here. Last time I was looking for a witch. I cannot find the witch and now I easily just find one here in this location how funny things are so I'm basically just going traveling trying to get away right now I don't want to die obviously if you die just reload your save too yeah, it's the whole purpose of the bread there's also some carrots there if you need extra food but we're just hoping to find an enderman and bam we find one okay pretty good Let's kill this guy first And look, notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to save my game before I go and attack him. I'm saving my game. So just in case he doesn't drop an ender pro, I'm going to reload my save. He doesn't drop it. So I'll go ahead and show you how that looks there. That way you see that. But notice, I'm going to kill him. Okay, you want to be very prepared with the enderman because he does attack you from all, all locations. Uh, he just sneaks up behind you, he teleports. So it takes about maybe five hits and he'll he'll die. Let's see here so I'm kind of figuring out where he where he went because I don't know he's actually right behind me there we go notice it's getting daylight okay notice I didn't you know I didn't get anything unfortunately okay so it's fine I'm gonna go ahead and reload my save in a bit so here's my save here I'm going ahead and reloading that this is honestly the best way to go about and do this because if you don't do this, this will take you a lot longer. This is a lengthy process. This took me about maybe five days and when it got daytime, I went ahead and hid in that house to the left of us right there and I just left it alone and when night came around, I went ahead and saved it right before the night. Just in case I didn't get a lot of uh, endermen, I went ahead and just reloaded my save. So that is a the process there. Notice I did get an ender pearl this time. Next tip I want to give you, you saw that creeper that just blew up. You want to go ahead and pick up all those those sand blocks right there to the left of us because we're going to need a lot of those later to get to the pillars at the very top and for some of the other trophies. So you do want to pick that up as many times as you can. I'll go ahead and show you another clip of that so that way you see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. 
exactly like this hit the creeper let him pop or blow up and go ahead and pick up all those blocks he leaves behind do that multiple times okay so at this point we've got 12 ender pearls i'm not going to show you the process of doing that because that is grindy that does take some while so be patient with that it took me days as well so that way you understand that you are doing it correctly it's just a matter of you getting um ender pearls so now we're going to go ahead and create our our eye of enders okay notice we need the blaze powder in order to do that so we need 12 of them easy as that Okay, one of the things I messed up on, I do have a, another bucket. I didn't put water in the bucket, so please do that. You're going to need that in a little bit. There's also that chest. You want to pick something up or put things away that you do not need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create, well, I already did actually, the bow, the, the crossbow or the bow. So that way I could shoot the arrows onto the pillars, which I'll show you in a little bit. So right now I'm going to take you to the, the ender portal I'm gonna show you exactly where that is and I'm just getting a little organized here is what I'm trying to do alright so this is the house I went ahead and camped at so if it got uh, daytime I went ahead and just stayed in there and looked out the window it's kinda of funny how I'm looking out the window here okay this is the dumbest thing I probably done in this video or I got those water bottles indicating thinking I could actually use them you can't use them all you could do is just drink water I know that was pretty dumb and I find out out later. I thought I'm going to need water and I thought I could use those water bottles in order to pour water out but I can't so I'd have to use the bucket. That'd be the only way to pour water out. It was pretty dumb of me. <laughs> so you don't need to do that with the whole water thing. If you want to pick up those carrots if you're running low on, on food I encourage you to do so because you're going to need it because we're going to beat the or fight the ender dragon in a little bit. So I'm in my boat. I take my bed as well so that way I'm going to put it close to the the ender uh, portal so that way if I do die I can go ahead and respawn so this is the route I'm going I'm, I'm taking in order to get to the ender uh, portal let's see here so we're heading over here let's see I want to make sure I don't get lost okay we're going we're taking a left here let's ignore all the the villains or the enemies whatever you want to call them okay so that's actually the tutorial world straight ahead right there and that's where you get out of okay obviously you see the camp right in front or to the right of you right now and I'm going to show you in the map where exactly we're at so you won't get lost here and you kind of see it at the at the bottom right there you can see so that is the tutorial world straight ahead right there and I'm going to the left this is where the ender portal is at uh, let me show you it's actually the best way to get to it it's a pretty easy way okay so this is where we're at I'm gonna remove my shield so you see it a little better because I noticed that map there is really really small there we go okay so this is where the ender portal is at pretty much right underneath us right here at this area see that block right there we're gonna go to that block right in front of that creeper there and we're gonna go ahead and break that block there and we're gonna dig straight down so we're going to the ender portal guys this is where it is located in this tutorial world yeah, it takes a little while okay you can't miss it though you'll you'll notice different type of stone in a bit and that's how you know you've gone to that location where the ender portal is at you need 12 eye of enders in order to um, open the ender portal so that way you go through and defeat the ender dragon right there you see that different type of stone okay so right here is where we're at okay notice in front okay that's how it looks like that's where I'm at on the map and we're gonna turn straight around and we're gonna dig straight around to the back and you're gonna see stairs right now look at the stairs turn around bam right in front of us ender portal Okay, and we just gotta destroy this. You could ac actually break that thing there with your your pickaxe. Just get rid of these guys here. All right, that way I'll let you see it. Here we go, guys. That's where it's located at. That exact spot. Okay, now we need our eye of enders. Let me show you that. 
I'm gonna get my bed. Only problem about the bed is that it could only you could only fall asleep at night on the bed. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to place it down here. Okay. And the purpose of that is so that you respawn there. If you do die at the end of dragon, you go. You could immediately go back and just get your things. But unfortunately, I cannot because it's not night yet. If it was night and then you do fall asleep, you'll be able to respawn there. All right. We need to put our I have enders in there. We need 12 of them. All right, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Okay. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay. Make sure you check out part two, which is pretty much immediately after this. All right. Thanks for watching and God bless you guys.